eighth canto, eighth canto, chapter uh, 23. Okay. Eighth canto, chapter 23. And verse number 16. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So before we begin today's talk, I uh, just wanted to uh, remind and to mention that um, every codicy, which was on Thursday of this week, uh, we usually uh, explore deeper uh, the chanting of the holy name of the Lord as a feature topic of discussion. But this Thursday, we had a class with the devotees in Harrisburg and the everything was arranged by them. So in order to keep the pace with the holy name, um, I decided to make today's class that discussion. And I hope the devotees will find it edifying, spiritually enlightening. So I chose one verse from the Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Mantratas Tatratas Chidram Desakaraha. Vastunaha Sarvakaroti Nishidram Anu Shankirtanam Tava. Translation There may be many discrepancies in pronouncing the mantras and observing the regulative principles, and moreover, there may, may, may be discrepancies in regard to time, place, person, paraphernalia. But when your Lordship's holy name is chanted, Everything becomes faultless. Srila Prabhupada's purport. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Ke Balam, Kalon Nasti Eva, Nasti Eva, Nasti Eva, Gatir Anyata. In this age of quarrel, the only means of deliverance is chanting of the holy name of the Lord. There is no other way. There is no other way. There is no other way. Brihat Narodiya Purana 38.126. Now this verse is very fundamental, spoken by Lord Chaitanya, and, and which he quotes from this Brihat Narodiya Purana. So this verse was quoted by Lord Chaitanya. In the stage of Kali, it is extremely difficult to perform Vedic ritualistic cer ceremonies or sacrifices perfectly. Hardly anyone can chant the Vedic mantras with perfect pronunciation or accumulate the paraphernalia for Vedic performances. So here it was mentioned that these two things, um, Vedic performances, ritualistic performances, yagyas, were very prominent in previous ages. And the Brahmins were qualified to chant the mantras perfectly. And people were sharp enough to able to uh, execute the rituals according to the prescribed directions given in the Vedas. But in this age, people are not, as it says in this Kalir Dosha Nidhi Rajan Asti Eko Mahagunaha, there are so many faults in this age. Alprayesu Sabda Kalogi Gin Jasmin Janaha. Manda, Sumanda, Mateo, Manyabhaga Upadataha. So in this age, people are not very adept in performing spiritual activities, especially yagyas and various rituals as mentioned in the Vedas. 
So the Lord has instituted a very sweet, a very powerful, a direct way for, for purification. And it's not something that is derived, it's something that's in the Vedas. As the Vedas say, iti soldasakam namna kalikamasanasana natat partayo payo sarva Veda shudrishyate Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Therefore, the sacrifice recommended in this age is Sankirtan, constant chanting of the holy name of the Lord. Yajnai Sankirtanai Praya, Yajanti Hi Sumedasa. That's from the Bhagavatam 11, 529. Instead of wasting time performing Vedic sacrifices, those who are intelligent, those who possess good brain substance should take to the chanting of the Lord's holy name and thus perform sacrifice perfectly. Prabhupada says, I have seen that many religious leaders are addicted to performing yajnas and spending hundreds and thousands of rupees for imperfect sacrificial performances. This is a lesson for those who unnecessarily execute such imperfect sacrifices. We should take the advice of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yagnai Sankirtanai Priyani Ajanti Hi Sumeda Saha. Although Sukracharya was a strict Brahman addicted to ritualist activities, he also omitted Nistridham Anusankirtam Tava. My Lord, constant chanting of the holy name of your Lordships makes everything perfect. In Kali Yuga, the Vedic ritualistic ceremonies cannot be performed as perfectly as before. Therefore, Jiva Goswami has recommended that though one should take care to follow all the principles in every kind of spiritual activity, especially in worship of the deity, there is still a chance of discrepancies. And one should compensate for this by chanting the holy name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In our Krishna conscious movement, we therefore give special stress to the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra in all activities. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, Om Agyan, Timuranda, Sya, Gina, Jana, Salakaya, Chaksu, Militam, Yena, Tasma, Sri Guru, Vena, Maha. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gaudavani Pacharine Nirishesha Sunyavari Pasyatyare Sitarine Panchakalpa Darubhis Chakri Pasindu Pevachapatitanam Bhavane Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namaho Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Sivansadi Gaur Bhakta Vindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare hmm. So in the Chaitanya Charitamrita it is mentioned that in this age the religion of the age is the Chaita Hare Krishna Maha Mantra there is no other activity that is recommended as much and as, as often as the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Every activity we perform in devotional service is meant to help us purify our consciousness where we can come to the stage of chanting purely without offense. In other words, the goal in Krishna consciousness is to come to the stage of Sudanam, pure chanting. And that pure chanting takes the form of two ways or two means by that way, and that is called Japa, chanting on beads and Kirtan, congregational glorification of the Lord. Both of them have principles that one should follow in order to get the benefit and uplift one's consciousness to the spiritual realm through these two expressions of glorification of Krishna's holy name. And one must follow these basic principles, which is finding, following, following the four regulative principles. And um, for those who worship, who are in household life, it's good to keep a deity and worship the deity. 
all of these are meant to help purify our consciousness. So when it comes to chanting the holy names of the Lord, we develop a taste and the chanting is progressive. It actually awakens our attraction for Krishna and we find great happiness in this performance. So we see in our ISKCON society all around the world, the devotees perform this activity as a feature, a main feature in all of our temples. In fact, this is Lord Chaitanya's program, he is to Harir Nama, Harir Nama, Harir Nama, Ebuke Valom, Kalom, Nastyeva, Nastyeva, Gatiranita. He makes this point, there is no other way, no other way, no other way. As it's explained in the literary aspect of spiritual expressions, that when something is mentioned as three times here, the holy name, the holy name, the holy name, no other way, no other way, no other way. So two, two principles or two points of, of uh, knowledge are mentioned three times. That uh, literary expression of that particular point that is mentioned thrice means just what it means. When you say something once, you can give considerations which may marginalize that statement in relationship to something else. In other words, you can say, well, what can you say? Uh, you know, you can say something from the scriptures, but then something else from the scriptures also can appear to be not contradictory, but uh, uh, something that is different but is understood in current time, place, and circumstance. In other words, there can be apparent contradictions uh, due to the expressions of the scriptures based on what is being emphasized at that particular time. But when you say something three times, then that, that consideration is neither, never, never there. So when it comes to the chanting of the holy names of the Lord, and as Prabhupada emphasizes here in this particular purport, there are people who waste their time in all Vedic sacrifices, costly, elaborate sacrifices. Uh, Srila Prabhupada writes in the Chaitanya, I'm sorry, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, in the sixth canto, third chapter, verse number 25, I believe it is, or 24, I think it's 24 where he says that uh, when we were installing Krishna Balaram and opening our temple in Sri Vrindavan Dham, I wanted to simply open the temples by having kirtan and installing the deities simply through the process of kirtan. And that was my uh, desire. But then we understood that we are here in Vrindavan and there are so many brahmanas, there are so many temples there are so many, and there's, they're looking at our temple to see whether we are bona fide or not. And so, in order to somehow satisfy the pundits, the sadhus, the priests, and all of the other temples, we did this costly, elaborate Vedic sacrifice with mantras and the fire and brahmanas and everything in order to... Uh, uh, open up the temple. In other words, we did it according to Vedic instru uh, Vedic principles or Vedic directions. And everyone was satisfied. But Prabhupada said, I would have simply had kirtan. <laughs> he writes that in the, uh, in the Srimad Bhagavatam. So um, we see here, Prabhupada says, instead of wasting time performing Vedic sacrifice, those who have good brain substance, so, the word is uh, uh, sumedasaha. Medasa means intelligence and su means great. So here the word, you can see it here, yagnai sankirtana prayayanti hi sumedasaha. The word su means great, medasa means in, uh, brain substance, intelligence, can think. We usually also use the word kovida. Kovida means those who are actually learned. <laughs> So here, but then there's another word called alpam, A-L-P-A, made us, uh, that means those who brain substance, as Srila Prabhupada would say, their brain is filled with cow dung. <laughs> In other words, there's nothing up there. It looks like there's something, but there's nothing. It's just an illusion. 
So there are there are those who have that alpha meta saha, but they, they think they are sumeda saha, and therefore they simply waste time, spend money, and do all these costly sacrifices that are never performed exactly according to how it should be performed, because as is explained in this age, people are not qualified to chant the mantras. If a slight deviation in the mantra chanting is entered into the ritual, then the whole ritual becomes null and void. That's how strict these Vedic sacrifices are in order to get the desired result. We have the example in the, uh, in the sixth canto also, in the story of uh, uh, Ritrasura, when um, I believe it was Twasta, he was very angry at Indra for killing his son, uh, what was his son's name? Um, I can't think of his name. But he, uh, his son was favorable to the demons and favorable to the demigods, both. So he would, the dem demigods used him for sacrifices and performance. But then again, he was also offering puja to the demons. When Indra found out, he killed him. And when he killed him, Twasta, his father, he got really angry and decided to kill Indra. So he arranged for this sacrifice to produce a demon that would kill Indra. But in chanting of the mantras, he chanted a slight wrong pronunciation. Instead of chanting a long A, a short A, he chanted a long A. In other words, you see, when the mantra, just like in this word Hari Nama, you see above the, the word Nama, and then the first day there's a line, that means that it's, it's emphasized, Hari Nama, not Hari Nama, but Hari Nama. So the emphasis is over just like Anyata, not just Anyata, Anyata. So that emphasis is, can change the whole meaning in a, in, a, in a certain context. So when Twasta performed the ceremony, he made that error, and what he got was a demon who was to be killed by Indra instead of a demon that was going to kill Indra. He got the opposite. So this is an example from the Shastras how, how precise these Vedic mantras must be performed in order to get the desired result. So here, but anyway, and people in this age are not qualified. We see even in our chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, devotees uh, are in chanting in our mantras in our temples, there's a tendency to mispronounce the words. We do that with many of the, the Sanskrit words, we pronounce them wrong. <laughs> or we somehow or other, yeah. Even sometimes devotees chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama. Instead of saying Rama, they say Ramo. And Prabhupada was very strict about avoiding this Ramo instead of Rama. That comes out in Kirtan many times. So that's an example how even today we see in our society, even the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is pronounced. With, but because the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is very merciful, uh, it allows for these deviations and still one can chant the Hare Krishna mantra. But Prabhupada was very strong that we should pronounce these mantras correctly. Otherwise, our society will look like a bunch of fools. And particularly in reference to the Hare Krishna mantra, he said, um, we are not a Bengali movement. We are uh, uh, the mantra in Sanskrit is the Hare Krishna mantra, it's not Bengali, it's Sanskrit. Because you see in the Bengali, they change the A to the o, to O's a lot of times. And that is the way the Bengali language works. Um, I've even seen here that in, in Slovenia, um, when you say uh, A at the end of a word in Slovenia, um, they drop the A and change it to an I. Mm. So mm, it's the same word in Sanskrit, but if you say it with the, 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 the Slavic pronunciation, it comes out different and it has a different, can have a different meaning also. So you see language mm, is um, 
is mutable according to who is chanting and how they're chanting. So, but therefore, you cannot do that with the Vedic mantras. They have to be chanted perfectly. So therefore, it's always recommended that we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra for purification in all of our activities because the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is the Yuga Dharma. In this age, there is no other performance of act activities to purify not only oneself, but the atmosphere around and just like sometimes when we come into a new place, just say you, you, but we buy a new building or you move into a new house, then the house has been used or that building has been used by maybe materialistic people. And the atmosphere is a little bit, the atmosphere is a little bit heavy, heavy energy of the material energy. So we come in and we do kirtan <laughs> and we do kirtan for a few days and just purify the whole atmosphere. And gradually, as the kirtans continue day after day, the whole atmosphere starts to change. You can experience that when you walk into a temple. You'll see as soon as you come into a temple room, the atmosphere automatically uh, has a feeling of uplifting, as opposed to if you walk into a, a liquor store or a, any kind of material establishment, you know, many times your consciousness goes down. <laughs> because of being affected by negative energy. And so the holy name is very powerful and it purifies the person, the atmosphere, and it's the best way to purify not only the atmosphere, but the whole world. <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu demonstrated that by doing Harinam Sankirtana on the house of Chandakasi and uh, organizing millions of devotees to chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. We could imagine if this would happen today, this whole uh, pandemic and everything else connected to it would be gone. <laughs> if, if, the, if every devotee got out into the streets and was chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, just like today, we went out on Harinam this morning for about three hours. And uh, the whole atmosphere, people were doing whatever they do. So when we went into the center square and the people are, you know, talking and there's no cars there. So people are shopping and various other things are happening. But many of them joined the kirtan. There was one little boy. He left his parents just to join the kirtan. His parents decided to come to the kirtan just so they could be with him, so they could be with him and not lose him. Because <laughs> he was dancing. He was jumping, he was shaking his arms, and he must have been about five or six years old, but he was having a good time. And then we saw many other persons also smiling and waving and um, feeling the uh, happiness that the devotees were exhibiting in the, in, in the kirtan. So the holy name is, uh, is the means for purifying the whole world in this age of Kali, especially when purification is greatly needed. <laughs> so, um, and in our temples, so many wonderful kirtans and uh, programs centered around chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So um, we should make it our number one activity as Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati says, those who who takes shelter of the kirtan of the holy name will achieve the supreme destination. That means going back home and back to Godhead. Um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lived for it, he taught it, and he uh, showed it also on how one should engage in devotional service. We have the example when Sri Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in, uh, was in Jagannath Puri, then uh, Lord Nityananda came from Navadweep along with many of his followers to be with Lord Chaitanya during the Rathayatra. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had a strong desire that Lord Nityananda stay in Navadweep and preach there, and then he would be preaching in Jagannath Puri. After some time, there was a discussion between Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda where it was an indicated by that discussion that um, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to Lord Nityananda, you want to be with me and I want to be with you. 
but we have our mission and we should be preaching and spreading the holy name everywhere. So please take your followers, your Gopals, because Lord Nityananda is a supreme cowherd boy. And so you, all of his followers or devotees who follow Lord Nityananda as their, as their Istadev, they are all in the mood of Sakyaras. Or, and so he had many, so they came with him. And Lord Chaitanya encouraged them to go back to Navadvip and perform Sankirtan. So uh, he took that order on his head, organized his followers, and they left and they started to chant. As they were chanting, heading towards Navadvip, it's a long way, um, they got lost. They kept, they were so absorbed in the holy name, they didn't really understand if they were going in the right direction or not. And twice during that journey back to Navadvip, they had to indicate, ask, where are we? <laughs> and people were saying, well, if you want to go to Navadvip, you have to go 20 miles that way and catch the Ganges, follow the Ganges, it will lead you to Navadvip. So they followed them. After some time, they came to the house of Raghava Pandit. Raghava Pandit came out with a garland and he garlanded Lord Nityananda immediately. Lord Nityananda responded by saying, very nice, Raghava, but please give me a garland of Kadamba flowers. And Raghava Pandit said, my dear Lord, and Kadamba flowers, there's no Kadamba flowers at this time of the season. This is not the season. Nityananda said, just go in your backyard and see what you can see. So he went in his backyard and he has a lemon tree and on the lemon tree there were kadamba flowers. And he was amazed and he started picking the flowers, made a garland for Lord Dityananda and put it on Lord Dityananda. And then all the devotees were smelling another type of flower. They were thinking, what is this? This smells like Damanaka flowers. The Damanaka flowers only grow in the area of Jagannath Puri. And Lord Chaitanya, he wears Damanaka garlands all the time. So Lord Chaitanya must be here, but we don't see him. But he was. Lord Chaitanya actually came in his unmanifested form. And only five devotees, of so many, could actually see Lord Chaitanya. He was actually there dancing and chanting with Lord Nityananda who after being greeted by Raghupu Pandit again, resumed his kirtan. And they chanted and danced and chanted and danced and chanted and danced for three full months. They didn't stop for three full months. It's mentioned in the Chaitanya Bhagwan. The ecstasy was so strong that they were going mad in happiness. They were running up the sides of the trees, dancing on the ends of the branches, and the branches were not even breaking. People were diving off the trees. The devotees were so happy. They were grabbing small trees and pulling them out of the ground and dancing with the trees. And it was just Lord Nityananda's kirtan went on and went on for three months. It became so infectious that the area around them, people come from the villages, came to see what was happening. And as soon as they came into the atmosphere, they started to sing and dance also. It was like all of a sudden they were drawn in and they couldn't do anything to resist. And some of the young boys who came, they were just small boys. They also started to chant and dance and they danced for one month, as is explained. So Lord Nityananda's kirtan is not part of this world at all. <laughs> and he was singing and dancing and singing and dancing. And so this is the this is the process for in this age is to have Harinam Sankirtan and of course chant the holy names on our beads every day, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Uh, if we make this the number one principle in our practice of devotional service, there will be no problems. You will have no problems. You will only find unlimited happiness and joy to as much as you can with your friends, family members, temple members, yatra members, whoever you can find, just sing and dance and chant the holy names of the Lord. This is Lord Chaitanya's process. It's, it is susukam kartam avyayam. It is joyfully performed.
It's not like we have to somehow be very sad and very morose and very, very contrite. These things are there also, but the essence of our practice is happiness. And it's all centered around chanting the holy names of the Lord. And when that chanting reaches the stage of purification, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, along with all his associates, will enter into that kirtan and dance with you. You may not see him, but you will feel his presence. And he will be there when that chanting and dancing is done with great enthusiasm and happiness, with never thinking, when will this end? We will think, we hope it never ends. <laughs> this is our movement, chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, and it's the movement for purifying the entire world of it, all of its problems. If people take to the chanting, and Prabhupada says it so many times, people take to the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, there will be no problems nowhere with anyone. <laughs> the world will be by Vaikuta. <laughs> okay, I'll stop there. Um, I would like to play a little video. It's on my WhatsApp. Um, I would like to connect to my WhatsApp through my computer and play this little video of a kirtan that happened many, many years ago, just to um, end this uh, session. And so if, if you can give me that position of share screen where I can bring this in, I'll try to bring it up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work because my technical knowledge is very low, but let's try it anyway. So, uh, Srimati, how do I get that share screen? <laughs> first, do I first I go to where I want to go? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Uh, first, uh, please open um, and uh, document our video which you want to show. Um, okay, let me see. It's on my WhatsApp, and uh, so let's see if we can get to it. Is it on your WhatsApp, Guru Maharaj? Yeah, it's coming uh, slowly. It's, it's, um, um, okay, it says trying to reach the phone, connecting to WhatsApp, retry now. Hmm. Okay, I got it. I'm on my WhatsApp now. Uh, let's see. And I found it. So um now can you give me that share screen yes good much i gave you um but uh, you have to go to the zoom and uh, click on share screen button in the bottom okay uh, i'll go to the zoom and hit which one share screen green one okay All and right. then you can select your whatsapp uh, video okay so we go here and uh, down you'll have a shared sound also, Guru Maharaj. Can you see my screen now? Yes, Guru Maharaj. And you can go to, yeah, that one. Here we go. Let's see if it comes. Oh, yeah. Happiness overload. I'm trying to play this here. Uh, Guru Maharaj, um, we are not able to hear. Uh, you have to share the sound. See it? Yeah, we can see it, but we can't uh, hear the sound. Guru Maharaj, uh, can you uh, send the video to me? Guru Maharaj.
Hare Krishna, Srimati, can you hear me? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Sri Devi got it. it it's on a YouTube. Just yes, I'm, I'm opening it. it. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Thanks. Um, Guru Maharaj, I am sharing. Guru Maharaj. Good Maharaj, we are not able to hear the sound. Um, Hare Krishna. Ha, 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 ha. 
हरे कृष्ण गुरु महाराज हरे कृष्ण गुरु महाराज
Hari Om. Did you see that? Yes, Guru Maharaj, but uh, unfortunately we couldn't hear the sound, um, but I tried to play in the middle. Uh, um, the sound didn't come through? Yes, Guru Maharaj, yeah. You have to click share sound there. Um, uh, one option is there. You have to click that. Before I say something, you started sharing the screen. That's why I missed that part. Oh. Um, but um, um, but we watched uh, Guru Maharaj. It was very ecstatic, Kirtan. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, the, the whole thing is in the, in the... Should I play it again? <laughs> uh, no, Guru Maharaj. We have the link. Sri Devi Mataji posted the link and we already have the link and we, we are playing on our end, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Please, everybody play it. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't even know you had... I could hear it really good. Here. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, you have the sound, but uh, when you, while you are sharing, you didn't share the sound. You just share the uh, video part. I'm not so technically adept. <laughs> In fact, I don't know anything about these things. Anyway, but... No worries, Guru Maharaj. Just played the YouTube and we were hearing at that end and we were seeing at this end. So no worries. Yeah. Yeah, Nitai Nataraj, we can see him in the corner there stirring his pots. He's the one that sent it to me just yesterday. So we played that video you sent, Nitai. Hey. Hey, it came out yesterday on YouTube. I mean, it uh, was uh, amazing, you know, Kirtana. Guru Maharaj, what, what year was it? Was? I don't know, but that goes way back. <laughs> Um, I would say maybe the beginning of the century, <laughs> around the early maybe part like of the century. Maybe, uh, uh, it looks like around the year 2003, four, or something like that. I don't know. Maybe right around that time. I mean, it was amazing. You know, I see, I mean, everybody was there and just, you know. <laughs> Yeah, the the entourage was just amazing. I'm sorry you couldn't hear it. I just feel so bad now. No, good match. We played at our end. Um, that's totally fine, good match. We played here. It was so ecstatic and uh, loud, Kirtan. Everybody can play it today before you take rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, Harinam Sankirtan is the Yuga Dharma, the means for unlimited. You can see the happiness everybody was exhibiting anyway. That was good. Uh, everybody was dancing, and it was just not enough room for everybody to dance. So it was um, quite wild. <laughs> so when you hit share screen, you have to hit audio too, huh? Yes, good morning. Um, Sorry. Should I play it for like one minute for everybody? That's good, Manesh, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll play it again. Uh, let me see. Hit share screen and then... On the bottom, oh. you'll see share sound also. Oh, sh share sound. Okay. Here we go. <laughs>
Thank you for sharing that with you, Maharaj. See, it was so beautiful. Don't stop sharing. Okay, we got a little audio that time, huh? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, Maharaj. Okay, that was Lokana Swami. He is he is the emperor of Kirtan, <laughs> leading the Kirtan. Okay, so just to put a little flavor into our classes, we did this today. <laughs> Usually I give you bland kitri, but now you got some spicy samosas. So. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Maharaj. It was very beautiful. It looks like yeah, they added. Really looks it looks like they like, added it newly. Yeah. Looks like they added it newly uh, on YouTube. Yeah, uh, I think you know, Nitai Nataraj said it just came out. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, I wish uh, we were also there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that what happened in the past is still the present and the future. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So we'll have to depart here and uh, we'll go on to our, I have a program at the temple coming up. Okay. Started a half hour ago, but that's okay. Okay. And then, um, but tomorrow we will be at a different time. We'll be at one, one o'clock uh, p.m. Just afternoon, one o'clock p.m. Tomorrow's class will be from Central Jersey. It'll be a Srimad Bhagavatam class with the devotees from Central Jersey. 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Central and then for India, you can add five and a half hours, which would be about 6.30. Yeah, 6.30 for that, for those of you who are in India. Okay, so we'll see you all tomorrow. Chant, dance, and be happy. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Difficulties in... Difficulties have nothing to do with Krishna consciousness. They're part of the external energy. Stay in the fire of Krishna consciousness and you'll always be in the best position. Madan Gopal has just appeared with his hood on. He looks like he's in the middle of winter. He's still smiling, although he's freezing to death at the same time. <laughs> okay, thank you for coming on. Madan Gopal is a kirtan person. He likes kirtan, he loves kirtan, he does kirtan, and he lives for kirtan. Kirtan is his life. And we look forward to I live for you. Kirtan. Huh? You live for I me. I live for so you. Live for me. We can dance in kirtan together. Those are the best moments, Gurmash. For everybody. You know. It's <laughs> Yes. Okay. So we were out today. The weather was about three degrees above zero, and we were chanting and dancing in the cold weather, and we were warm. <laughs> <laughs> Sri Devi is still smiling. She was there. Ready? Yeah, everybody in, in, slow, in the town of Ljubljana is getting to know the Hare Krishna as somebody is a family member. They all know us now, practically the whole town. We're out in the streets every day doing kirtan. Wow. Nice. So I'll have to depart because there's a ceremony at the temple and it's, um, I'm supposed to be there. So. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Okay. Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, and when we say Sri Krishna Chaitanya, so many good feelings come into our mind and heart just by chanting that name. <laughs> Thank you, Guru Maharaj.
for doing with that name. Thank you. All glories to assembled devotees. Samaveda Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai. Karuna Sindhu in Archana City. We want to get Karuna Sindhu to dance. I haven't seen him dance once yet, but I'm going to somehow or other, before I leave this body, I'm going to watch Karuna Sindhu dance and jump in ecstasy where he hits the ceiling and doesn't come <laughs> down. He just stays up. We did His wife will be so happy to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Kirtan is like a, is a, can't wait for a disciples it? meeting where we all get together and Nithai Nataraj is dancing like crazy and Karuna is yeah. hitting the ceiling and Madan Gopal is uh, doing somersaults <laughs> and we're all just you know floating in ecstasy and Sri Devi every day is leading the ladies and dancing in the Kirtans here in the temple <laughs> Ever since she came, they're all dancing now in lines and in very symmetrical forms of worship. It's really quite nice. Sri Devi's added some life to our temple here. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So, all glories to the virtual association. <laughs> Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, 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 Okay, Dharma Vatsal, he loves to dance, he loves to sing, he's a great kirtan leader, he, he's a bhajan leader, he gets people to dance, he's one of the best in, our, in this area for chanting, he doesn't, you can't see him because he's hiding, he makes sure he's not seen, but when, he, when, he's, when he's in kirtan, he's, he's alive, <laughs> he's really alive. <laughs> Okay, we'll get everyone to dance someday. Lord Chaitanya said, if you don't feel like dancing, just dance. <laughs> and when you dance, the feeling automatically comes. It's, it's magic. It's how the kirtan works in such a way, as soon as you, in, you enter into it, things that you would never do in your life before start to happen. <laughs> And they're all very, very joyful. Okay, I think I better go before they come and get me. <laughs> okay, we'll see you all tomorrow. Very good. Thank you. 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 Thank you.